I am Pugal Indi, Assistant Professor, Department of Visual Communication, Satibama University. Today, I am going to talk about microphone. Microphone is a transducer or converter which converts sound energy into electrical energy. There are three types of microphone, dynamic microphone, ribbon microphone and condenser microphone. Now, let us look at the function of dynamic microphone. This is the microphone. The microphone which will absorb the sound energy, then it will convert as electrical energy. How? Whenever sound wave strikes on the diaphragm, the diaphragm gets vibration. Automatically, the voice coil moving forward and reverse according to the incoming sound pressure. Due to that, there is an electromotive force will be created. It is mean electromagnetic induction happened. So, this process which will give the electrical signal. Just now we discussed about the dynamic microphone functions. The next one a ribbon microphone. A ribbon microphone it has a light metal aluminum or a ribbon is suspended between the poles of magnet. The voltage output of ribbon microphones is typically quite low compared to a dynamic moving coil microphones and a step up transformer is used to increase the voltage output and increase the output impedance. Now let us look at the function of ribbon microphone. First the sound wave strikes on the ribbon. Here the ribbon act like a diaphragm. As the ribbon vibrates within its magnetic field, it is generate at any voltage that corresponds to this change in velocity. In classic ribbon designs, this level is very low compared to typical dynamic mics. Now let us look at the condenser microphone. In the condenser microphone, there is a front plate and back plate. The back plate working as a capacitor which is attached with the battery power. The capacitor has two plates with the voltage between them. In the condenser mic, one of the plates is made of very light material act like a diaphragm. The diaphragm vibrates when struck by the sound waves, changing the distance between the two plates and therefore changing the capacitance. Specifically, when the plates are closer together, the capacitance increased and a charge occur the current. When the plates are further apart, the capacitance decrease and discharge the current occurs. Microphone polar pattern. Microphone polar pattern is nothing but a microphone pickup pattern. It means the sensitivity of microphone or directionality of microphone. There are three types of pickup pattern. The first one is unidirectional, second one is bidirectional, third one is omnidirectional. Let us look at the first one unidirectional microphone. Uni means single. So, unidirectional microphone which will pick up front side only. For example, if I talking in front of the microphone, the microphone which will pick up front side only that is called unidirectional microphone and second one bidirectional microphone. The bidirectional means to that microphone it will pick up front and rear or left and right. So, when you do the interview you can use bidirectional microphone. A third one omnidirectional microphone. Omni means all which will pick up entire 360 degree equally. If you place the center of the 360 circle, the microphone it will pick up entire 360 degree equally. The audio evenly pick up by the microphone equally. Pop filter. The purpose of pop filter which is used to reduce the blow noise. 
So, when you do the recording, if you place the pop filter between the artist and the microphone, you can avoid the blow sounds like when you pronounce appa, phone, balloon. So, this thing directly hit the microphone and it will be recorded. So, that blow noise can eliminate easily by the blow cutter or pop filter. So, when you pronounce pa, po sounds, you will get a more noises. So, that noises will be easily removed by pop filter. Now, I will show two experiments with blow cutter without blow cutter. The first experiment without blow cutter, whenever I pronounce phone, appa, balloon. So, these sounds are getting more blow and it will be recorded. This is not a professional recording. Experiment 2. Now, I am going to pronounce the same words with pop filter or blow cutter. Balloon, appa, phone. Now, you can see the waveform of recorded voice with pop filter, which shows there is no blow noises in this waveform. Audio equalizer. There are two types of audio equalizer. The first one parametric equalizer, a second one graphical equalizer. First of all, you should know what is equalizer. Equalizer, the device which is used to balance the low, mid and high frequency. Let us look at the parametric equalizer. Parametric equalizer used to through the knob we can adjust the low frequency, mid frequency and high frequency. Graphical equalizer that is also used to balance the low, mid and high frequency, but it is slight different from parametric equalizer. In the parametric equalizer you can you are going to use the knobs, through the knob you can adjust low, mid and high frequency, but it is different through the fader you can improve the low, mid and high frequency. Thank you. I hope through this video you have learnt minimum things about audio production. Thank you.